Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this earth hologram with the source light and the projector and this will be the end result. So let's begin. First, I have watched the Footcube's tutorial about how to create procedural microphones and in this video he shows how to create these cubic effects procedurally. And when I have seen that, my brain went back to 2008 and I remembered the scene with the earth hologram. And I wanted to recreate that. So. First open up Blender and enable import images as planes add-on and import earth's image as plane. You can find the files in the description. Add a loop to the middle and rotate it 19 degrees on the x-axis, then add an empty. Then open up modifiers tab and add a subdivision surface modifier. If you want it to be more rounder, add more subdivision. After that, add a simple deform modifier and choose the empty as the origin and make the angle 180. Then add another simple deform modifier and choose the Z axis and make the angle 360. Then go to the materials tab and disable the show back face option. After applying all the modifiers go to editing mode and merge the vertices by distance. Now we are done with the mesh and we can go to the shading tab to edit the material. I am using the node wrangler add-on to use the weaver node. If you want, you can enable it on the add-ons menu. Now I will convert the RGB data of the earth image to black and white to use it as a mask. To do that, add a color ramp and change the constant to select all the land. Now at this point, we can connect the color to the factor of the mix shader and make the land one color and the sea another color. I will make the land green and the sea blue, but you can do whatever you want. Now we can start with the fancy stuff. So add a texture coordinate node and from the UV we will be connecting it into a vector mat node and these nodes will give us the option to control the cubic effect. So change it from add to scale. This will control how many cubes will be there. Then we will add a, another vector mat node and use the fraction operation. Now the cubes are becoming more visible. Add another vector mat and use the subtract operation and the first two values will be 0.5. The third value can be 0 because it's not going to change anything. Now add another vector mat and make it absolute. Now we need to get only the x and y axis. To split them add separate x, y and z node. Now we can see the axis separately. Now we are going to use both X and Y and will connect them to smooth maximum. This node will control the smoothness of the cubes. Now we will use another math node to use the greater than operation. I will use the 0.35 as the threshold. It means if it's greater than the threshold it will be white and if it's lower than the threshold it will be pitch black. Now we have to invert the values to use it as a mask. After inverting it connect it into another mix shader and connect the first mix shader into this mix shader. So basically we created the hologram but I will add some more other things to make it more interesting. First I will use a principal BSDV node and make it black and decrease the alpha value to make it make the holes empty. Now if you change your render engine to cyclist and go to the render view you can see it. Now I will remove the blue because I will make another cube mask and will increase the scale. To do that, first add another mix shader and connect the land mask to it. Then duplicate the matte thingies and increase the scale as you wish. And duplicate the mix shader with the emission. After that connect it into the invert and connect the result into a mix shader. Now we will make it even better by adding a height map to it. After importing the height map connect it into, a, into the displacement but we are not going to use the displacement on the mesh because 
it will not uh, it will require more polycount and it is just unnecessary but now we are going to make the uh, displacement visible on the sh material so to do that we will use layer weight and more to create that uh, effect connect the layer weight nodes to the empty parts of the mix shaders now we will add the last mix shader it will be used for showing the height of the earth so connect the height map to the vector displacement node and increase the scale a bit change it from tangent space to object space to see the whole thing now connect it into the color ramp and this time you can try everything on the map but i will use b spline to get most of the part and with that the parts which are higher will be brighter after getting the result you want connect it into the mix shader and for the strength of the emission i will get the value from the color ramp and use the math node to multiply it with a number to make it to make the higher parts brighter and for the color i want to use a bit of brownish color Now if you zoom you can see every bit of detail of the earth's height. Finally our earth hologram is finished but now I will add the hologram slide. So just choose a loop from a circle and duplicate it and parent it. Then extrude it down and add some loops and scale them to cover the earth. This material will be 10 times easier than the Earth's material. First add a gradient and the mapping and the texture coordinate. This time we won't be using UV, we will be using generated option. On the mapping node rotate it 19 degrees on the Z axis and change the location of the X to 0.8. After that add another color ramp to control the gradient. After that, add two principal BSD feed nodes and change them as I do on the screen. Then copy paste the mad thing is, this time we will be only using the Y axis to make the source type look like the holograms from the Star Wars. After that connect the Y axis to noise texture and change the values. Then use a color ramp to make some parts disappear. And connect the color to the alpha of the principal node and connect it into the, a matte node to multiply the values. To use it as the emission strength, now the only thing to do is modeling the projector. But before that, go to the compositing tab. First, we will add bloom because Cyclus doesn't have bloom as you have Eve has. And to fix that, first add denoising, then a glare knot to change it into a fog glow. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this is the sixth uh, time I'm trying to record a uh, voiceover for the modeling chapter, so I'm not going to make a voiceover. And here's a time lapse of it. And before going out, I want to say I hope I was able to give you something useful. And here the lab begins.